Hi everybody, this is Derek Wyatt, Lawyer for the People. Of course, there's a disclaimer. This video is for entertainment purposes only. If you have a serious legal question, or any legal question for that matter, go seek competent counsel that lives in your jurisdiction. Thank you very much, and most importantly, enjoy the video. Okay, I'm gonna show you a video clip now. This video clip has been all over social media. It's got millions and millions of views. A lot of people are outraged about it. Uh, you know, here's my response. I want you guys to watch. See what you think. Would you do the same thing in this situation? Now, the way the, this police officer handled it, you know, might not have been the best, but you know what? At the end of the day, it wasn't the police officer that ended up getting arrested. Anyway, I hope you enjoy the video, and then after the video, I'll come back and I'll give you a little bit of commentary. Thank you very much. I have witnesses today. I can yeah. have as many as we can. Have on those cameras. We watched you guys. You guys have been problems since what? you got in here. No, I'm not with that. Don't problem since you got in here. If you want to separate yourself, you go in and they stay here. What are you but I'm not right She's out. She's out of here. She's out of here. She's out of here. Everybody's out of here. You guys are all out of here. Take your ride. See how they treat our kids? Take your ride and get out of here. We're out here. They call them animals. Yeah, they call our children animals. Like an animal. They're called our, they called our children animals. They're doing the very same thing that the rest of these kids are doing in here. They just called our children animals. It's raining out here. It's cold out here. These kids have paid their own money. These kids paid their money to come in here too. And they're being persecuted. So you have to leave. They're being persecuted just as well. I paid my money. I'm not going anywhere. My kids are in there. I'm not paying. I'm not going anywhere. I didn't trespass anything. I didn't do anything this wrong. You better not touch me. I'm this watching this guy. Do. Look at this guy. If you don't do touch not, me. If you do not you better not touch me. I have not broken if you any do not leave the Get premises. off of me. Listen. Get off of me. You see this guy? Get off of me. What are you doing? Look at this guy. You are not I didn't do anything to him. Me. I didn't attack you. I didn't, you you want to let this man do this to me? And you know I wasn't wrong? Resisting arrest. Resisting arrest for what? All right, now you've watched the video. Let me give you a little bit of commentary. First of all, if this lady was my client, I would zealously defend her, and I bet, you know what, I'd probably get her off. But you know what? I'm not defending this person right now. I'm giving some words of wisdom. Some words of wisdom from lawyer for the people. And it's this. Cops are the law on the street. I don't care what you think about them. On the street, they are the decision maker. Okay, that's number one. Number two, this lady is not very smart when she argues with the decision maker. Number three, we all know this lady thought she was getting real cute. She was gonna get real cute with the police officer. She was gonna videotape. She knew she was gonna put it out there and she's gonna play the race card and she was gonna be upset and they called the animals and all that kind of stuff. And you know what? One out of 10 million times, that actually works and somebody gets something. The rest of the time, you just end up getting arrested or getting beat up. Okay? Number four. I think we're at number four. That's called a criminal trespass. It's private property. It may be a public place. There may be an invitation open to the public, but it's still private property. If somebody tells you to leave, you have to leave. Now, I want you to think about the dynamics of this situation. One, she was given a criminal trespass warning by a police officer who is the law on the street. And even though he was just private work and security, here's the rule. An off-duty police officer becomes an on-duty police officer when a crime has been committed. Was there a crime committed there? Yeah, there were at least two of them that I saw. At least two of them, maybe three. Maybe three. Uh, number one. She committed criminal trespass. She was warned to leave, but she refused to leave. So, you know, that's criminal trespass. Number two, I'd say maybe even interference with public duties. Standing there giving the officer a bunch of crap when he's trying to do something. Three, resisting arrest. And you know what? I know those are all crappy charges, but you know what? When I'm on the street, if I was there, I would have told the police officer, yes, sir, sorry about all of that. If I was in the courtroom, oh, I'd have a lot different things to say. I'd probably even make him cry, and I'd make him put a cigarette out. But you know what? On the street, they're the law. So in that situation, if you encounter that situation, I want you to remember that. Even if the officer is off duty, as soon as he sees a crime, he is now on duty, and he will arrest you. Thank you very much. I uh, hope this advice uh, proves useful to you.
Have a great evening or morning or whenever it is.